pipeline can be of different categories. In this session, we are going to discuss different categories of pipeline processing. Actually, the categories can be mainly or broadly can be divided into two types. One is the arithmetic pipeline and another one is the instruction pipeline. So, at first we are going to discuss the arithmetic pipeline in this particular video session. Okay. Now, what is the arithmetic pipeline? In this arithmetic pipeline, we used to do some arithmetic operations. Here we have considered operations like your floating point addition or subtraction. Particularly, I have taken floating point addition. We are considering that this very pipeline is having four stages. Stage 1 to stage, stage 4. Also, it can, it can be called as segment 1 to segment 4. So, let us suppose we are having two numbers. One is the x, another one is the y. And x is having the value like this and y is having the value like this. x has been expressed in the form a into 10 to the power of small a. Here small a is the exponent and capital A is a mantissa or significant and similarly for y. We know that if you want to perform floating point addition, I have covered all this part in the floating point arithmetic also. In case of floating point addition or subtraction, the exponents must be same for both the numbers, then the mantissa or the significant can get added. So, before adding the significant or mantissa, I should equate the exponent parts. So, here we are having this 3, here we are having this 2. Always it is a common practice to align that very exponent which is having the lesser value to the higher value. So, here the lesser value is 2. So, I want to convert it to the higher value 3. So, so that these two exponents will become equal to each other. So, for that I had to do some adjustment in the segment uh, in, in the uh, mantissa significant and that is quite, uh, quite obvious. So, here we have done this 0 0.81 has become 0 0.081. So, now this exponent parts are same. Now, obviously, we can go for the addition. So, x plus y I have done. So, this is the addition result that is the sum and then I have done the normalization. You know normalization means before this particular radix point the digit will be 0. After this radix point the digit will be non-zero. Two conditions are there for normalization. Please see my floating point videos also and for that purpose you should have to adjust the exponent accordingly. In this particular four segment pipeline, I have depicted the same. Here it is they are taking this exponents, here they are taking the mantissa. Now comparing exponents will be the segment number 1. So what I am doing, I am doing just a minus b. What I am doing, I am just doing just a minus b. So when I am doing a minus b, then what will happen? Here I am getting 1. So 1 is a factor, another factor is plus 1. Two things are there. One is uh, the value, another one is the sign. The sign will indicate that that I should I should adjust the second exponent part, and this magnitude will indicate that I should adjust it for one plus. So that's why if it is minus one, then obviously I should consider this uh, first exponent that is a in that case. So in this way, this particular this particular segment output has come to be here. So, here the segment uh, exponent I have selected is 3 and here the significant in this particular segment the significant has got adjusted. Now, in the segment number 3 we have done the addition, we have done the addition so the sum has got obtained. The sum has got obtained like this and then I shall go for the normalization. So, the significant will get normalized and there will be some adjustment in the exponent also. So, segment number 1 only we are doing the difference between a and b. Segment number 2 we are selecting this particular exponent and we are just making this uh, mantissa aligned accordingly. In the segment number 3 we are doing the addition. In the segment number 4 we are selecting the exponent part of the sum and also we are doing the respective adjustment of the significant accordingly or mantis accordingly. In this way, in this four segment pipeline, this arithmetic operation can be performed and that is why it is called, that is why it is called your arithmetic pipeline 
in the next topic we are going to discuss the instruction pipeline please watch the next video we will be discussing this instruction pipeline thank you